No mail. What's going on, Box Chevy family? It's Box Chevy P back again with another one. Um, let me explain to y'all pretty much what's going on today. Um, y'all see where I left off last time. We was getting my mother in her new house. So now basically it's my turn. So she didn't close on her home. I'm um, moving forward. We're looking for me a new property. I mean, the property that I'm in, we the owners, but I'm more so looking for something. Excuse the camera, man. Looking for something more, you know, a little with a little more space for the whole family. You know what I mean? So we're looking to upgrade. So that's what we're doing right now. We might stop and check on the blue box while we out there. But as of now, we're on the way to go check out these properties. So y'all stay tuned and um, I'm going to cut y'all back on in a minute. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, because um, I'm uh, old, uh, older miser. How, how many bedrooms is this? This one is, I think it's three. I see they ain't used the pool in a while. Okay. Yeah, Mark House is right here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Let me. How's it going, man? Where you at? Somewhat of a second level, huh? <laughs> more definitely more room here. What you think though? You don't really like it? I like the I like the layout of it. They can do a little work to it, that'll be nice. They all up here? Yep. And then I think the half bath downstairs. So what is this? This is closet. There's all three bedrooms in here. here. I like the layout of this. I like the layout of an exercise room. We can really hook this up if we get it right. They got the exact same trick that we got on there. Oh, work. This like I guess. This is like a little workout space right here. That's decent. I wonder, are they planning on doing any work? Or is, or is they selling this as is, or are they planning on doing some work to it? Or I'm just as is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then that's like uh -huh. the half. What is this? The garage or something? That's the. Let me see. That's that down to the patio. That's oh yeah, no, this the garage. Oh yeah, this the garage. Oh okay. Yep, it's full out here. You gonna have a lot of stuff to move out. Right. And this the base. I can't see nothing down there. Let me see. <laughs> it ain't that big down here. Just because everything else is upstairs. It's small. Yeah, this is pretty small. This is more so like a little room right here. Yeah. If you, I mean, you can make this into a little smaller room if you move all the stuff out of here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Cause it's drywall right here. It's partially finished. Yeah, since that's where all the washing machines and stuff is at. Uh-huh. Yeah, they had this nice and clean. It'll be it's a nice size pool. 
And like she said, a once over, that's what it need. I like the layout, it's just a, need to be updated a little bit. I got the big sharp over there. Yeah. Like, and that's literally Mark House right there. Right See that trampoline at? Oh. His gate next to that one. Nice. Okay. Pool is pretty big. That's a nice pool. It just needs to be cleaned out. Hey, this pool bigger than mom's, though. It just needs to be clean. Pool look like it'd be a lot of work. Wait, man. It's all right. We're gonna we gonna keep looking. We ain't gonna put no offering on this one right away. Here he go park right here. That's the owner right there. He parked. He trying to hide at the corner. The setup is decent. Like I said, if it was um a little more up to date, if they did some little work, interior work on it, it'd be feasible. It'd be feasible, but um. And then it's right in the middle. Like I'm looking at the neighbors, it's just too much yeah. attention on their too house. Many white yeah, I ain't gonna say white people because I don't we don't disagree with white people, y'all just don't like being the only black person in the middle of the block like that. Yeah. You see how the neighbors look when we went to look at the house? Yeah. That tell you a lot. So I wanna be somewhere where we're gonna be comfortable. I don't mind white neighbors, but they gotta be liking black people. We not prejudiced, so we can't move to where somebody else is prejudiced. And check it out, my buddy house literally who working on a who dropping the motor in this right through the yard right here, look. That's what we was looking at. Let me call him and tell him I'm out here. It's all full of mold and shit. No, it didn't look mold. It just looked like they needed some type of, some update in there. Cause if it's this one right here with all these trees and yep. everything right here. Yep, it's that one right there. It's right, literally right there. Her father looked at that place like- Okay, yeah, they still in there too. They still have all their furniture and stuff in there. I could have, I could have sworn he said that like some pipes had burst. And okay. The whole basement was. Yeah, that's good to know. We not, we not gonna put an offer in on it though. I think you should. You think so? Yeah, because then we can just cut down the fence and just drive through. <laughs> right through there, huh? <laughs> Make an opening just for the box Chevy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go through the bar here. Okay, now what did you come up with with the oil pan? How did that turn out? Oh. Did you put it on there already? Yes. So is this one cracked, the new one or no? Yes. So it did have a That's small crack. Right. This is the reason why. What, what was that? This was, this is, this is this. Oh, so it was two of them holding it on there. There, there was, when you took the old gasket off, it stuck on there. Okay. And then, this, Damn. Is, this is so hard that you it just busted it. What you want to do with this? Can you do something with this? Because I'll let you have it. Or I can return it. I actually could return this thing if I want to. Well, it's, it's up to you. I mean, because it's brand I'll, new. I'll, I'll take it and I'll see if I can get it fixed. Okay. I'll take it to that guy that welded up my, uh, my laser. Okay. So yeah, I just I just wanted to double check because I'm probably gonna have to go through the floor. Okay. Um, and it, you you can't go through anywhere in the center of the car like anywhere in there is all your heating. Stuff. Okay. So, so you think thinking have to go through, through, through the bottom where the exhaust is? Okay. And that kind of sucks because the exhaust is right there. Okay. Long I mean, long as we have it wrapped somewhere, because I usually everybody I usually see is like right there. So if you put a hole there, do you think it'd be right through the heating? Yeah. Do you think it? Yeah. Do you think it'd be something there once you open it up? And this is the intake and everything. Yeah, this, that's the intake from that one. Okay. I just pulled everything apart. Okay. So you get ready to clean it up. It's not a bad motor at all, though. It's still 90. Because I didn't drive it since I had the motor. And I haven't driven it, so. See this, see this stand? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Right I, I seen one of those that I was actually going to buy since I got the LS. That's a pretty. That's actually an LS stand, right? Yep. yep. And I yep. forgot to give you the brackets, or you took them off anyway, because I had some more brackets that if you need them, I can probably give them to you if you end up using need them. It's they only like thirty something bucks, but um, it's some brackets that uh convert. You know the ICT billet brackets, which you probably put on the other one already, huh? Yeah. Yep. So I got another set of those, brand new. Yeah. The, the one thing that I need to try to get from you is those the bolts that hold the flywheel on. Okay. Um, because those 
are hard to get. Okay. So, oh, so the bolts for this? Yeah, because I took the yeah. flywheel off the back. Well, I, I, got, I, got, I got two different flywheels with two different sets of bolts right. sticking so, in them, so that should work. Yeah. So I got you. I need these. Got, I got two sets of those for you. So I'm guessing you're going to need that, right? Yeah, I'm going to need that, yeah. That is this. Yep. That's the oil pressure. And then... The, and then yeah, you, did you see that? Pressure. Now, where, where can we put this? At? Well, I guess. Well, see, that's the problem. You there, don't right have there. that spot on this one. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Because this motor is a. That's the coolant one there. And this one is a 2005. This motor is out of 05. That one is a 2000. See, this one, one doesn't have that. Exactly. And there's no, there's no other spots that I even see on this engine that you can do that. I did a damn good job on this engine looking at it again. It's beautiful. Cleaned it up pretty good. Did you paint these things? Yep, I painted them. I sanded them down and painted them. I just actually did that 6.0 like that yesterday too. Cause the 6.0, I'm trying to get like a grand for it. Yeah, I just, I just saw it on Facebook. Yeah, well you seen it? Yeah. Just gotta order the hose with this thing pretty clean. And then one other thing. These gaskets need to be replaced. They not blown yet, huh? Nope. Thumbnail for this. Okay. Just prepping everything. I'm ready. Yeah. Did everything pretty much um unplug without breaking anything? Cause that harness is only like 300 bucks. So I, I mean, you know, they can get brittle. You know what I mean? I don't think I broke anything. Okay. Cause I know I replaced one of those uh, fuel injectors. I had to put a new pigtail on one of them on a passenger side. Okay. No, everything came apart pretty good. So. Okay. And as far as this starter there, cause that's a new starter too. Um, that starter looked bigger for some reason. What you think? Or they sell out the same size? Okay, yeah, looking at it from here. Cause I want to use my new starter. So I don't, if you want to take that one, that one is still new. Okay. Cause like I said, once I put this motor in, I haven't driven this car. So it had 90,000 miles when I um, bought and said, it. And you said it's a 2000, right? 2001. Okay. Yep, the one I just got is a 2001 as well. But yeah, that one is a 2001. And this one is out of a 05. I'm just gonna write that down because otherwise I'll forget. Yep, 2000. What, is it out of a... Out of a truck? Um, yeah, a Silverado. A 1500. That one out of a 1500. Yeah, I'm going to tear it. I, I'm probably going to tear it apart to see what's inside. Okay, see what it's looking like. Because I know that header is, I mean, a uh, lifter is ticking on the driver's side. So, yeah, there's a driver's side. Yeah, driver's side. So, once you pull it apart, you'll be able to see what's what. It's fairly clean, though. It's a fairly clean motor. Because I, when I put it in, I didn't even clean it up. I just really just painted this front bracket right here. I took everything apart, painted this front bracket, painted that, and threw it in. Oh, and I bought a brand new alternator. This alternator is brand new. And it's just been collected dust. Then, when I got it painted, that's where all the dust and stuff came from. But right. other than that, I cleaned it up pretty good. Together. That's uh -huh. what I'll end up taking. Speaking of radiator, I wonder what exactly how is this gonna fit the same? Cause I got the upper one on the on the upper hose on the front now. Remember the other one with the spot was right there. Okay. I mean, it's only a little small, short difference, but right. on the other one, see where it was at. I got the LS. This is the Camaro water pump I put on here. So I mean, it's still a flex hose, so it's only down, so it might still fit the same. It should. Because that, where's the radiator? See, that's the LS swap radiator. See the inlet and the outlet on the same side on there? Right. So that that's specifically. I see a lot of people have that hose all wrapped. Yeah, all the way around. Some of them look nice when you have this one, and you have a scrunch hole that look nice because it bends to however you turn it. But I don't like that long ass hose to go all the way around. Exactly. But you said you wanna you wanna you wanna hold on to this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it to the welding shop you know and see if they can fix it. Okay, I need, when do I need, uh... Blazers everywhere. <laughs> no. So I, I had this made. 
Oh, so this was the part that you showed me. That looked that look nice. Yep, and then I got, it bolts in here, and then it just bolts. bolts now that's right custom here. fab right there. That, that looked pretty good. That looks pretty good. Look like it's made like that. And they did a nice little weld on it. So did you cut this and put it together? They just... I cut it and I got it. I I kind of lined it up where I wanted it to. And they, they welded it for me. They really did a good, damn good job. And it's the 4.6 uh, front accessory kit, right? 4.3, yeah. 4.3, okay. Yeah. So is it overheating still? Or are you getting some... Is it working a little better with that one? or? It, it's better. It's still getting a little hot. I wonder if it's because it's so close to the motor is is going the wrong way i checked it the other day that, so that's that's that, probably your that main one, problem that one's right but this one's going back okay so that, that's gonna be your problem it. right there yep because that's the problem i had with the with my uh, four-door i had one of the fans facing the wrong way and it was sucking instead of pulling uh or pushing air instead of pulling the air and it, it was it was getting hot and i changed it around and it's working perfect so i guarantee if you change that fan around or the direction it's spinning you that's gonna solve your problem right there Make a huge difference, just one I, fan. I hope so. I want it to be a little cooler than it is. Yeah, because <laughs> everything is pretty close in here too. That that can be the problem too. Yeah, look, look at how close the look at how close the water pump is down there. It's like a quarter inch. I see right there. <laughs> just enough room. It looked good though. It looked pretty good. Did you see my carburetor? Uh, what did you put? Oh, this, oh, you bought a new one, right? Yeah, I put a. I got the, it's a new Holly. It's a Holly XP. And it's not electric? Nope. It looked like it's electric. Did it make a difference? It, it, it looks like it's one of the, the electronic ones. Exactly, that's why I said. Did it make a difference when you put it on here? Right. Big difference? <laughs> Big difference. As yep. far as this right here, what is that, the oil, I mean, the, what is that, the fuel pressure? Yeah, it's a fuel pressure regulator. Uh, regulator and okay. And I just have the gauge on there. So I can add one of those to mine if I, I wanted to for, for the uh, LS? Yeah. Okay, because I think I want to get one. I seen them on, um, eBay, but I didn't know which one to get. I didn't want to get a cheap one, and then you, you have to get one that's rated for fuel injection. Okay. Because they're they're a lot higher. But yeah, I had to. All I had to get, I had to buy this because the, that was the only way to hook it up. I'm showing them this now. This why, and you did everything yourself, right? Um. Uh, well, I had the motor built, but mm -hmm. yeah, all the installation exactly is by me. See how good that's looking. This is what people don't understand. Now this shit is shop quality. That's what I like. That's why I said when I pull that motor out, I'm getting my other firewall painted with some firewall paint, you know, because I like the shininess. That bring out, right. make the whole motor jump out at you. Yep. Use off the other motor, that should work, so. Come on, okay, I'm coming. Look, my daughter's me. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you though, Mark, but right, let man. me know if you need me. Take it easy. Okay. And you might, you, so you say you might drop it in tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Okay, well just give me a call if you need anything. Yeah, we trying to do base with we just trying to upgrade. We purchased this house that we in now, like three years ago. We became homeowners for the first time, so we trying to do the same thing again. But um, at this pace, you know, you do something, you just try, it's levels to this. You're just trying to upgrade, you know, elevate. So that's all we trying to do, man. We just trying to grow with everything we doing, man. As far as business-wise, living wise everything we just trying to upgrade our situation man if you ain't out here trying to upgrade your situation what are you really doing you got to ask yourself what am i doing if i'm not trying to do better for myself or my family then what am i out here doing so with that being said every day i'm trying to get better and better i'm human just like anybody else i don't have my struggles just as well as anybody else but i'm just trying to be better we ain't gonna never be perfect but we can just try to do better man so with that being said man if you out there just doing nothing Try to do better, man. Whatever you do, you know, if you get a second chance to do better, take that chance and you do what you're supposed to do with it, man. But it's Box Chevy HP checking out, man. I just thought I'd give y'all that message from me to y'all. Everybody start somewhere. I've been at the bottom before too, man. I done been where I ain't had lights on, hot water. I done been through it all. So we all start somewhere. So everybody had their own struggle. So try to do better, man. Keep a positive mindset and keep moving forward. And I guarantee you'll find yourself winning in no time. Checking out. Peace.